to certify that the Republic of Poland has transferred from the 1st of January 1999 to the self-governing community and the authorities of the Pawarskia district responsibility for public matters of local significance, this act at the Royal Castle in Warsaw was given to the first chair of the Powiat Henryk Wojciorek. 20 years have passed since then. It's a good opportunity to ask what the county really is and how it affects our lives. First, however, let's go back to the past and get to know the shortened administrative history of the Poavi Powiat. The beginnings of the Poavi Powiat had nothing to do with the idea of self-governance. New Alexandria, as Poavi was called at the time, became the capital of the Powiat created in 1867 by the Russian invaders. Polish officials were replaced with Russian ones. For decades, the Austro-Hungarian and German occupiers also imprinted the stigma of their power in this area. During the interwar period, communal and district self-governance was introduced in the territories of the former Russian partition. After the Second World War, the introduction of a uniform state power by the communists effectively killed Polish self-government. The administrative reform in 1975 finally liquidated the Powiats and divided the country into 49 provinces. The year 1989 brought with it hope for a major change in the country. After the transformation, intense work on the local government reform began. The Lower House of Parliament Deputy Ignacy Czesik from the Solidarity Citizens Coalition took part in them. The first big thing after the national referendum on June 4, 1989 was the preparation of the Act on Municipal Self-Governance. The first law said that the state must give away some of its property to self-maintain local governments. The Act came into force in March 1990 breaking the monopoly of the totalitarian power of the state. The municipalities receive property and autonomy. Less than 10 years later, the government of Jerzy Buzek conducted another four reforms. One of them was the administrative reform of 1998. The new division replaced 49 small provinces with 16 larger ones. 65 city councils and 315 powiats were established, including the Poavi powiat. The decentralization of power has become a fact, and the responsibility for local affairs has been increased by local communities. The Poavi powiat included the commune of the town of Poavi as the capital of the powiat, two urban rural communes and eight rural communes. Puavi, with such institutions as a district court, a police headquarters, a tax office and a hospital, was prepared to perform supermunicipal functions. Today, over 100,000 residents of the Puavi Powiat benefits from its competence in matters that are crucial to the quality of their lives. The existence of the Powiat means that its inhabitants are more empowered that the democratization of social life is taking place. The proximity of the Powiat office makes it more user-friendly for its residents. Part of the long list of tasks of the district authorities is carried out by the relevant departments of the Powiat office. Here, among others, we can get a building permit, register a vehicle, get access to land and building records, or use the help of a consumer ombudsman. Many tasks of the Powiat are carried out by specialist units, such as the Powiat Family Support Centre, Powiat Road Administration, an independent public health care centre, and the Powiat Labour Office. Powiat administration services include a Powiat Veterinary Inspectorate, a Powiat Sanitary and Epidemiological Station, a Powiat Construction Supervision Inspectorate, the Powiat Headquarters of the State Fire Service, and a Powiat Police Headquarters. 
house is the most important. This adage is also reflected in the budget of the Poavi Poviat, for which health care is a big challenge. Hospital debt, which has been growing until recently, has been stabilised. Subsequent branches are undergoing modernisation. Among the priority tasks implemented by the Poviat is the improvement of Poviat roads. In the years 1999 to 2018, over 200 kilometres of roads and almost 50 kilometres of pavements were completed. An important task of the Povia is to run upper secondary schools, special schools and other educational and upbringing facilities. Recently completed educational investments are a significant convenience for the inhabitants of the Poviat. The Poviat runs a point of free legal assistance for all who cannot afford paid legal aid. The Poavi Poviat is open to introducing new means of communication with residents. A significant convenience is, for example, access to the spatial information system of the Poavi Poviat, online queue booking in the communication department and a digitization of Poviat libraries. The idea of self-governance is perfectly complemented by non-governmental organisations created by people with initiative. The Poviat actively cooperates with foundations and associations on many projects. An expression of support for bottom-up initiatives is the establishment, in 2016, of the Poviat Council for Public Benefit Organisations. The Poviat of Puavi actively supports cultural and sporting endeavours. Events such as the Poviat Harvest Festival, Poviat Cultural Day or the Poviat Gala of Sport have already become established traditions. Due to the unpolluted natural environment in the economy of the district, agriculture plays an important role. The importance of the Poavi district on the economic map of Poland is primarily determined by Grupa Azoty Poavi. The company is the largest enterprise in the fertilizer and chemical industry in Poland and an important supplier on global markets. Puavi is also the seat of five scientific institutes. Modern technologies developed here are often ready-made recipes for successful business ventures. The Puavi district creates great opportunities for entrepreneurs operating in the tourism industry. The picturesque terrain and a rich history that have left their mark in the form of numerous monuments are a magnet for tourists who constantly return here. These advantages were successfully used by the Poviat authorities in the implementation of the Eurochance for Lublin Region programme. In the years 2011 to 2016, the inhabitants of the Poavi district accomplished 144 projects with a total value of 10 million zloty. The effect of the programme is a significant expansion of the Poviat's tourist opportunities. The Poviat of Puavi effectively applies for external funds for investments and ongoing tasks. In the last decade, the funds obtained from various external sources amount to almost 100 million zloty. The decentralisation of the state after 1989 allowed citizens to exercise real influence over decisions regarding their vital interests. The building of a civil society is still ongoing. It is a continuous process, measured by the cadences of local authorities. The governing and controlling body is the Puavi Council, elected for a five-year term. The council appoints and dismisses the Poviat board. The Puavi Poviat board includes the chairperson, a deputy chair and two board members. The management board implements resolutions of the Poviat Council and other tasks of the Poviat indicated by appropriate regulations. Over the 20 years of the Poviat's functioning, many people have been involved in its activities. In gratitude, from 2016, they have been awarded the honorary badge, well deserved, for the Poavi Poviat. Today, to mention the latest chapter in the history of the Poavi Poviat, we would like to thank all those who have contributed to the service of its inhabitants. Mm -hmm.